Hi everybody, I hope you're doing great today. Today is December 2022, day 19. It's gonna be fabric and a page tab. Um, these are my last three that I have done. The bookmark with the rust, the matchbook, and what was with it? Pattern and the notebook and the, what was it with that? Uh, notepad and handmade stencil. And I just haven't found a place in my journal yet for them, but they will go in there. I just wanna let you guys know I haven't forgotten about those. Um, and so today is fabric and page tab. So what I'm gonna do for that is actually make page tabs in my journal. So I found this piece of fabric in my fabric stash and this is a Tim Holtz fabric. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I found a line where I'm gonna cut it at. I think I'm gonna go on this side, just give it a little trim right there. And then I'm gonna tear hopefully semi, semi straight all the way down this line ish right tim holtz fabric is super nice fabric so i'm doing pretty solid oh look at that you guys that is not bad all the way down and i'm gonna have to do it again i think because um i think i'm gonna make 10 or 11 tabs in my journal i went through my journal and i marked places where i think i'd like the tabs so what i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna have to do that at least one more time so let's see where's another nice but I think if I turn it that way, I can do it again right there. Okay, and just tear all the way down. I'll go a little faster this time. because It seems to tear right on the line, which is wonderful. Not all fabrics do that. This one is so good. Okay, so that might be enough and I still have a little left. So I've got two of those. Then what I wanna do, they're not exactly the same, but they're pretty similar, which is good. So then what I wanna do is my tabs I want to fold over and then I, what I want to do is I want to sew them so that there's a bit right there, right? So I have a tab hanging over and that they're so about a half inch that I can glue on to the actual page. So that is what I'm going to go do. I'm going to do that off screen because it's probably pretty boring for you guys to see me cut and then uh, sew and then glue in the cut and sew and glue. So I might come back with you guys to glue them on the page, but for now, I just wanted to show you what my plan was. All right, so I have sewn my tabs. This is what I have. I just went with a straight stitch along each one and then went back and sewed a little bit extra with some different stitches along the edges of the rest. I have 11 here. I may or may not use all of them, but I want to put some charms on some of them I think so I got a lot of my stuff out that I need but I forgot my eyelets so let's grab those and this is one of my eyelet boxes and I think this will be good enough for what I need put that to the side of me here and then I also grabbed my box of pins straight pins and eye pins and all that good stuff and I grabbed my box of like this is my box of lobster clasps and you know just 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 uh, jump rings and o-rings and all kinds of rings and stuff and then i have a couple more boxes with me of different um charms so let's see if i like any of the charms to go in this journal and then i did grab a couple of beads just two literally uh those because they are the same as what is on my charm for the outside of my journal that we made on one of the days so let's see does anything here float my boat that i think would go well with the journal so i do like uh the bows but i'm trying to i think i like a plastic bow over a metal bow just because of weight so i'm gonna pull that and let's see here um just looking Lots of cute stuff, but I just, I want it to either match or just know that it'll look right. And I'm just, I don't know if I'm seeing, I do love hearts. Different kinds of hearts here. The little green crown could look good. But no, I don't think any of those. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, I think... Maybe that's all I'm gonna do from this box, but I make, oh, you know what, actually, I like this bow better. I'm gonna use this bow. So we're gonna use that bow. Okay. And then 
let me look in this box. Oops, sorry about that. Okay, let's see if I have anything here that I like that would suit me. Nothing has to be matchy-matchy. I just want to see if there's anything I like. I do like that bird. I do have some birds in there. Yeah, I think I'll pull that bird. And let's see here. Got some hearts and lockets. No, 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 no. star down there that I kind of like but you know I don't think I'm using I think maybe I'm just going to do those three I think three can be enough to make it look nice just to add a little interest it doesn't have to be all blingy all right okay so I have this one and these and this let me zoom a little bit in Okay, so let's get a head pin for my little box over here. And let's just go with gold, I guess. Okay, that one and this one. And like I said, these are on the charm that I have on the side that I'm using this tool. This is called a one-step looper. It's 1.5 millimeter loop. This is by bead landing. You just feed it in there and then you crunch and there you go. And you got a little loop. I do like to close off my loop more though. So I'm just going to grab my tool over here and squish it this way first and then do that a little bit more. So that's one. And then these two are just going to need uh, jump rings. So, let me move this. Alright, so we need, let's see, you know what, I think first what I want to do is pick which three I want. So, not that one, I like that one, it'll be really strong with all the sewing in it, so that's a good one. That's a good one. And I think that one. Okay, we'll use these three. And then we're going to pick our eyelets. Let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, so here's our eyelets. Uh, backwards. That's all right. So I do want to see. Here we go. So I wonder if I just have a nice gold. I do have that one, but I don't like the color really much with that. I like that. We're going to use that. Okay. I have been collecting eyelets for years, so I have a ton of them. Okay, so let's put these out. So let's grab our We Are Memory Keepers punch and setter. Now, uh, let's see here. I don't know how well this is going to punch through the actual fabric, but we'll give it a go. It at least will make something of a hole, right? So I think I am going to go about there. Yeah, that's not going to punch, but too good. But it did make a little hole. And I think, let me just grab my, let me just grab my, there we go. That. So I'm just going to show you guys one and then I'll do the other two off camera. So we're just going to feed that through. Got to get a little better through.
we're going to try it on this one instead. And I'm going to go a little higher so it doesn't break the thread so much lower. Okay, hi everybody. I ran into a couple of snags trying to do my tab, so I didn't want to take forever on screen, so I just decided to do it off screen. And let me just show you, this is why I don't put my covers on, but when I'm still working in a journal, uh, constructing it, because I got glue there and I got paint there, but anyway. So I was able to get my charms on, and I will tell you about that in a second, and I glued my tabs in, and there are 11 of them. And I like how they came out. You know, they're not perfect, but they're fun. So I have one on the cover here. And then you flip through. And they're about every, anywhere from five to seven pages, depending on where the page lands. On this one, I have the cute little beads, the golden beads. Then I have the bow. And then, you know, you skip a couple. I have a cute little love charm here. I added that one in so it looks more fluid. And then more here okay then i have the bird here and then a couple more so that is where the charms are in my book i love how it looks when you look at the book like that too especially i think that looks so cool i love um page tabs on a book i think that is so fun and i will have to find a way to take a good picture of that just to uh, put on the front of the video. But I hope that helps you guys out, gives you some ideas, and that you have enjoyed this. And I hope you guys have a great night. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.